All right, welcome back. Um, today we're gonna to be looking at part number five on worksheet number one. I'm gonna start again by creating my view that's missing. If I were looking at this from the top, I would simply see it as two rectangles. Right, I see this shape and this shape, two rectangles. To do this one, we're gonna do it as two steps. I'm gonna start by creating one triangle that's two and a half inches tall by five inches wide. I've opened up on shape, hit create, document, label it part five. Again, I start a new sketch on my front view. On my left hand side, I turn these three eyes off. On my right hand side, I click on the front view on my view cube. I'm going to use my line tool, my start point, going to the left, 5 inches. And it goes up, 2.5. And back down to my start. Right? There's one half of the front part, front triangle on part number 5. My extrusion for just one triangle, that would be this one right here, is 3 fourths or 0.75. So I'm going to hit that finish sketch, I'm going to go to my isometric view, I'm going to extrude it, 0.75, and hit my green check. All right, you can see that that is one half again, one half of my part. There's another one on the back side. So I'm going to rotate my view box to back, and add a new sketch on my back side. Use my line tool. From this point here, going up, again 2.5, back down to my lower right corner, and back to my start. Hit my finished sketch. Again, I like to do my extrusions from the isometric view. You can see that I've got my other triangle there. I click extrude. I click that new triangle that I just made. I want to be sure I get both pieces. My extrusion for this is the same as before, 0.75 or 3 fourths of an inch. And there it is, two triangles back to back, just like it shows on worksheet number one, part five. Thank you.